On Monday, Representatives Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates hosted an ATF accountability field hearing, and it didn't go well. They have stolen 32 of my firearms and thousands of rounds of ammunition. Well, where is the state of Florida to stand up for me? Where is the Fed to stand up for me and my rights? Well, my guns have been stolen. My ammunition, my children, they've all been stolen from me. See, that's the difference in writing a letter to your congressman and having your views reflected in policy and action and showing up with a video camera and having a far less productive encounter. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Last year it was the FBI and now it's the ATF. The right is attacking the law enforcement agency that oversees alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Unless you self-identify as an idiot, you can see what's going on here. The American people may be poorer under President Biden, but they're not stupid. The ATF is trying to keep Americans from owning pistols and or they're trying to keep Americans from owning pistol braces and or they're trying to use this rule to start an extensive national gun registry. And the ATF rule is just a backdoor way to subject, to subject pistols to more smothering reg regulations. In running this attack on the ground, well, Representatives Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene opened this week with a field hearing. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and let the gentlewoman from Georgia explain to you what she is doing. And I'd like to thank everyone for being here today for this very important hearing. Our Second Amendment is one of the greatest rights that we have as Americans, and we have known for decades that Democrats are set to destroy the Second Amendment, uh, starting from all of your right to own and carry a firearm for yourself. We know that you can't trust anything that comes out of Green's mouth as she'll push any kind of propaganda necessary that ensures that that NRA money keeps on flowing into her. Uh, hey, I'm a big fan of the AR-15. The great thing about it is that you get as many bullets as you want. And if somebody's coming in your home to murder you or, or your children, guess what? You can have as many bullets as you need to defend yourself. And I, I think that's the big thing. In fact, Green was unwilling to leave everything in that hearing. In fact, she went to the parking lot and made sure that she had more to say and it'd be heard by you. Remember, it's the criminals that steal guns and the criminals that, that commit murder and crime with illegal guns who are the problem, not legal gun owners and not legal gun stores and retailers. Okay, we'll keep you updated. It's interesting because the last time I checked, the vast majority of mass shootings were committed by legal gun owners. Indeed, illegal purchases made up just about 13% of mass shootings per the data. And I don't think that guns don't kill people argument, I don't think that that's really a winner. But maybe that's just me. You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.